On today's episode, Dad pokes the meat. Purposely lights things on fire. And displays his mastery of the English language. Just to show you it better video. That doesn't sound good. Who got this? Dad got this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dad Got This Outdoor Grilling Edition again. Today, we're doing what I like to call a little bit of a redux. This is a redo on a uh, recipe that I've already done before. This is my uh, sous vide picanha charcoal grilled. I didn't really like how the charcoal grilled portion of the video came out in uh, my recipe video. So I'm making it again anyway. Why not film it? Cut it into steaks seasoned it up real nice and it's been going in a water bath for about three hours at 131. So by the time we're done, it'll be three, three and a half hours worth of cook time in the sous vide. And then we're gonna sear the crap out of it over some hot, hot charcoal, as hot as I can get them to go. Let's get going. This is my 26 inch Weber kettle. It's a copper top. That's what people call them, what I call them, it's the copper. And you can see the difference, this is the 18 and this is the 26. I originally brought this one and was just immediately disappointed because of how small it was. This one has so much more cooking surface. It's so much better. And for today's cook, we're gonna use these. These are Weber charcoal baskets. They come in a two piece and you can set them up kind of any way in your grill you want. You could set one at one end, one at the other, both together, push them off to the side, and they just kind of keep the charcoal all together, and it lets you set up different zones for cooking. I'm putting them together right in the middle because I'm gonna try and make this grill as hot as I can get it. So I want air coming all around this, and I want one really hot spot to sear these steaks when they come off for sous vide. I don't want them on there long. I really want to just quickly sear them, get that charcoal flavor in there and be done. I'll show you kind of my little setup here. As you can see, I've got the two baskets right in the center. Now you could split them like this. So you've got a hot side here, a hot side here, and then a cool side in the middle if you want it to cook that way. People will set them up where they, like I did it during my ribs. I set them both on one side and then I had my cool side over here or you could set them like I'm doing right in the dang middle. And this way I'm gonna try and get as much air as I can and as much heat in one area. I've got some sous vide picanha that just came out of the sous vide cooker. And this is probably one of the most important steps in all of doing sous vide. You need to dry these. They need to be super dry for when they go on the grill. If they're not dry when they go on the grill, you're just wasting all that heat burning off and steaming the meat instead of searing the meat, which is what we want. We want a crust. We want a seared crust. These things are like gelatin tender. They're so nice. And dad likes to take and pour some olive oil on them before they go on the grill. It helps them flame up and get a little bit better. That's different than water. Oil is gonna cause sparks and flames, and fire and good stuff. Water, steam, bad stuff. Mm. 
So this process goes really quick. I threw a countdown timer on there to show the actual time because this is sped up about 150%. But what I like to do is I throw the steaks on it and I throw some good olive oil over them right over the coals. And what that does is it promotes like a big flare up and I get a bunch of uh, flames and heat going on. So, Cause the whole entire point of doing this is to be quick. You do not want these on there for a very long time. The longer they're on the grill, the more they're gonna cook and they're gonna go past what you worked so hard to get the proper temperature for. So I'm quick, oil, flip, oil, flip. You don't want to leave them with this flame too long on one side because they'll start getting too much of a, a charcoal -y burnt taste. You want that charcoal flavor, but you don't want a burnt taste. So hit them with oil, flip them, hit them with oil, flip them. Keep kind of moving them around. Make sure you get the sides and make sure you get like kind of every bit of the steak to make sure that it all has a nice crust. You don't want just crust on one side. And like I said, this is gonna be quick. This is gonna take probably less than two and a half minutes that they're actually on the grill and you're done. That's it. All grilled up, pull them off and you don't even need to worry about resting. We'll get into that in a second. No need to rest these since they were cooked sous vide. Moment of truth time. Time to cut into them and see how they are. So dad showed you how to grill up some sous vide steaks. Sous vide picanha, which is an awesome cut of beef if you haven't had it. Very beefy. The main section of the meat is not fatty at all. It's just a fat cap on top, which is delicious. It's a fantastic steak. I showed you how to sous vide them and then sear them over a super hot charcoal grill using a little bit of olive oil to promote a flame up. And they're fantastic. This is dinner tonight. It's beautiful out here, a little bit warm, but even when dad redoes a recipe he's already done, just to show you it better video, that doesn't sound good. So even when dad redoes something that he's already done before, just to shoot it better and eat it again, dad doesn't do outros. So that's it. Dad does it too. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. For more fun and easy recipes, visit dadgotthis.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the damn bell. I double dog dare. Come on, you have to do it. It was a double dog dare. I mean, those are the rules.